Hello, and welcome back once again to Jack's Tech Corner. This is another official unboxing video. You know, and I wanted to do this one, um, and you know, I don't normally like unboxing videos, although I've pretty much unboxed everything with you that I own. Um, I guess that's the way YouTube works. But this particular unboxing video I thought was pretty important because when I was looking to buy this particular unit, um, which is in my new BH Photo video box right here. When I was looking to buy this unit, I looked over YouTube, and I looked over YouTube, and the part of the unboxing that I wanted to see wasn't there. So I thought this was pretty important, and I'll explain it to you in just a minute. Let's go ahead now and go ahead and we're going to unbox this, and I'll show you what I purchased. So what I picked up here was a Tonika, or T-O-K-I-N-A, Tokina, Tonika, Tokina, however you want to pronounce this. But it is a wide-angle lens, if you can see this, ATX Pro lens for digital SLR cameras. This particular one happens to be for my Nikon camera. Now, what I was saying earlier about not everything at YouTube is there that I was looking for, uh, guys unbox this and I'm going to show you what's in it naturally uh, but there's no pictures with it I want to go a little bit step further I'm going to show you the differences between the lenses uh, the one I'm currently filming this with is a uh, 17 by 105 or is it 18 by 105 one of those two lenses uh, it came on the Nikon D7000 I have a 70 by 200 which will give you a much different perspective I have a 50 millimeter lens uh, which will give you a different perspective. And I want to shoot all these lenses from the same general area to give you the perspective of why you need so much different glass and how it uh, differs from each other. Now I went with this company, the uh, Tokina, I think it is, or whatever. It's T-O-K-I-N-A. If someone wants to put it in the chat room the correct pr pronunciation, that's fine. Um, but you get the idea by seeing the box. Basically because of price. The reviews were really good. Everybody seems to love this lens, and uh, the price was really good there, so that's why I picked this one up. And I wanted a wide-angle lens. Now, why do we want wide-angle lenses? Well, the reason I want it is because when I do wedding photography, it allows me to get up close to the bride and groom and get in, or get into the wedding party closer. Uh, then you're not getting all those pictures way far back, and everybody's looking real small. You have a lot of background to deal with. Uh, and then people say you can crop it, but it's just not that same perspective. And also for landscapes, I think a wider angle will give me a, a better perspective of landscapes. So I'm going to take a look at that. We have the registration card. That's nice. Gives you different lenses here, different ideas for lenses. And uh, that's the instruction manual. Uh, nice box. And then we have the lens itself. Kind of a letdown. There's no little case in here or anything. So I have to find a case for it. Let's put this down here. This is the lens itself. It's actually just wrapped in a piece of plastic. It's really not wrapped uh, too deeply here. That's a decent looking piece of glass. You can see the glass in there. Um, it does have a lens hood that comes pre-attached on it. It just screws off like any other lens would. Just pull on it, you can screw it on. It screws off. So this is your entire lens. Now there was one thing when I was looking at this lens, um, and it is a 12 by 24 millimeter, is the focus ring. You can see how it focuses here. When you pull it down, it will actually lock it into a manual focus mode. It's on the side. When you push it up, it's an automatic focus. So that's different. Now usually there's a switch on your lens. So that's very much different. So we're going to just set it here for um, 12 right now. I'm going to lie it down here. And what I'm going to do is grab my uh, camera here. This happens to be my D80 because actually I'm filming with this with the 50 millimeter lens on it. And we're going to just uh, rotate this lens off of here. And 
we are going to take this cap off and lay it over here. And then we're going to line this lens up. As soon as I find out where they want to line up at. Where your dot's at. Hmm. There's a little line there. Maybe that's where it goes. I guess so. And there you go. So that lens is now on my Nikon camera. Take a look through here. It's very, very wide. It's a very, very wide lens. You know, I'm taking that shot and I'm getting the ceiling and everything. So it's very interesting, very nice wide lens. With the lens hood on, that's what it looks like with the lens hood on. We'll see if we can spin it around here this way. Keep the words on the top, not that that really matters. And again, like I said, I'm getting all the ceiling and everything there, so it's a really nice wide angle lens. Just a couple of test shots here. The picture quality looks very good. So it looks like a very good lens. And this is an F4. Okay, we talk a lot, like my 50 millimeter lens here is an F1.8. And what that is just the aperture setting. We're not going to get a lot in depth into lenses right now. But that allows us to take these lenses and use them in more low light. And you'll notice when you buy a kit, the kit usually comes with a lens, a little cheaper lens, that's probably like, uh, it'll tell you it's a 3.5 to a 5.6 f-stop. What that means is as you zoom out, it changes throughout the zoom. The further you go out, the higher the f-stops. So you're going to need more light is what that means. Uh, with this particular lens, this is an f4 all the way through. So uh, 12 millimeters on is still an f4. I'm pretty excited about the lens. I can't wait to get out and do some shooting with it and actually get out and uh, shoot some landscapes. And we're going to try to do some portrait work with it and see how that works out for us too. It'll allow me to get in closer and tighter to the models and get a full body shot. So that is the official unboxing of the uh, Tokina, or T-O-K-I-N-A, however you want to pronounce that, again, uh, lens. And uh, you can see it there. This is on my Nikon D80. And I'm also going to be shooting with this on the Nikon D7000. So, uh, thank you. And I hope next to uh, follow this up, and we're going to have some test shots in there. And I'm going to show you how those look um, with this compared to the other lenses. We'll do some comparison shooting. So, we'll see you back here for that video very, very soon. Uh, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and check out my Facebook group, Jack's Tech Corner. We'd love to have you over there. A lot of great discussions about photography, cameras, and equipment. We'll see you there. Take care. Bye for now. What I thought I would do here, instead of just taking still pictures, since this camera does video, we're going to walk here and do a little bit of a video recording. Now this is the 12 by 24 millimeter lens. Look how close we can get to this covered bridge. And we still have the whole bridge uh, in frame. Uh, we're relatively close, if you can look here. We're pretty close. Let's take a walk inside. And these are some dramatic shots here. We're actually going to take some uh, still pictures now. So again, as you can see here, it's pretty dramatic how much you can see with this bridge. And that's at 12 millimeters. I'm going to close the lens off here to 24 and show you. That's at 24 millimeters. So that's as, as shallow as it goes, or as zoomed as I should say as it goes. And this is as wide as it goes, right here. So like I said, I wanted to show you. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to go to the other side shoot a little bit of video and we're going to switch over to the 50 millimeter lens and I'll show you in comparison what the difference is uh, with this wide angle at the same location. 
So right now, again, we're standing uh, by this road sign here. Right here is a sign. And we're standing here. You may be getting a little bit of wind in this microphone. I'm sorry about that. But that's the uh, wide angle there. That's the uh, 12 millimeters. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to switch over to the 50 millimeter lens and show you that same focal uh, point right here with the 50 millimeter lens and show you the difference uh, between a wide angle and why I wanted this lens compared to the other lens uh, that we're about to put on the camera. So let me go ahead and switch over lenses. Now this is the 50 millimeter lens at the same point. Here's the sign again. It's a little bit harder to see it now without that wide angle lens on here. But you can see now what we're looking at from that the covered bridge and all we can see. So again, that is why you want that wide angle lens. You could be up close to something and still get a very, very big wide field of view. And I think that's very, very critical. I'd like to thank you very much for joining me in this, un this official unboxing video of my new 12 by 24 millimeter lens. Hope you found it enjoyable and more importantly, I hope you found it uh, educational to your buying experience to see if you'd like to purchase this lens or not. So hopefully, um, if it, you know, I think the added bonus to this video that I haven't seen in other unboxing videos is taking you outside with that lens and showing you that covered bridge and uh, walking around with it a little bit. And it was nice I was able to shoot some video. That was kind of an afterthought after I got there. I thought I could probably shoot a little bit of video and um, you heard me pretty well. So the microphone picked up okay on the camera and it worked pretty well. Uh, if you're wondering, that camera that I'm shooting that with is the Nikon D7000. So again, thank you very much for joining me here, and I hope you join me for all of my videos on uh, YouTube or on Justin TV for our live stream. You can also join our conversation uh, weekly, every day we have conversations going on, on our Facebook group, which is Jack's Tech Corner. And you can find that now at Facebook.com jackstechcorner.com you can also uh, join us on our google plus page at plus.jackstechcorner.com and check out my website by itself jackstechcorner.com for some uh, latest and greatest videos uh, a lot of training videos there very inexpensive and there's also uh, a donation button that helps me to get out and get these shows done and the donations go a long way folks i do always appreciate any donation that you can uh, send our way so once again, thanks for joining me. As always, keep those shutters clicking, keep your editors editing, and I'll see you back here next time on Jack's Tech Corner for another photography-type video. Bye for now.